Oh, is it working? It is working. How y'all done? By the attic here. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. It's been a long day today. Saturday. Uh, I think it's about 37 degrees right now. Uh, not too bad. It was supposed to get down to about 16 last night, but it only got to about 24 or so. Of course, some of them missed it again. I tell you, I'm going to work on something down here. I'm going to build me a little homemade weather station. I think we're going to put it, we need to put it somewhere where the, I'll probably put it over here somewhere. Somewhere where the trees and stuff won't affect it. Then, uh, We'll uh, start doing a little weather ourselves. Yeah, it must be pretty easy to predict because about anybody can do it. Don't mean you cannot. Don't mean you'll be right every time, but well, you know. Oh man, picked my son up for a. Uh, Got to get him a job there the other day. We drove up to a little place there. And I didn't know where the place was at, so I want to make sure this camera's sitting right. There we go. Look at that. See that? My concrete block still hanging there. See it? Tomorrow will be 14 days that that piece of duct tape has held that concrete block. It's been snowing. It's rained. It's sleet. It's been warm. It's been it's been 20 degrees. It's still hanging there. Then you know what? That's good stuff. So this is an ongoing test. So I'm gonna say just how many days this thing will hang her. Man, but anyway, I took him up to try to get him a job there, help him, you know, put in for application and see what he can do. So he did. Uh, I didn't know where to go. So that was an adventure in itself. We drove and we drove. Uh, I sent a friend of mine, I sent a message and I said, you have any idea where this place is at? Absolutely. You go up here to you get to this tire shop, you hang a left, you go up the road up there, it's on the left. Well, can't miss it. Well, you got to look at who you're giving directions to. So I get off, come across the road there, you know, and I get off just uh, turn a left onto this, uh, I think it's 30. So I'm driving out through there, and I drive and drive and drive until I hit the other main road. My son looked at me, and he said, I think we might have made the wrong turn. I said, no, we didn't make a turn. We went straight through. So we turned around. We drove all the way back until we got right back to where we started. We turned around again. I go back. I take another. For some reason, I went right when I was supposed to go left. Oh, went down there and hit the dead end street. Oh, we come back, and I said, well, I'm going to turn here at this tire shop, which is what I should have done to start with. Got up the hill at the tire shop. Hey, there it was. Uh, me and my directions, man. I tell you, you could tell me, say, you walk three steps to the left, and you will find that stick. And I'll go over and look for it for 20 minutes. But that's just the way it is. Oh, man. Went down there at the uh, Dollar Tree there the other day, and I found some pretty good stuff at Dollar Tree. Now, I love going in the Dollar Tree, and the reason I like going in there is because you can find stuff in there that's just dirt cheap sometimes that you won't find anywhere else. Like this phone. This is a uh, just a charger for a, uh, mostly an Android phone. And uh, it actually lights up. It's got little lights that go all the way down the cord and stuff. I found that for a dollar and I'm like, you gotta be kidding. Well, I bought three of them. I use one on my candle. My wife uses one on her uh, candle. And uh, just got this and kind of put up just in case one of them goes dead. Let's see how long them will last. Been about a month now, and I ain't had a bit of problem with them. They snap in good. Like I said, you can find good stuff down there. Now, I did hear somebody say one time, do not buy Pokemon cards at the Dollar Tree. And I'm like, why? Well, because you only get three to a pack for a dollar, and you won't find any good ones. Mm-hmm. All right. So I bought a pack. Now I've already opened it because I wanted to see for myself. So let me show you. The first card I pulled out of this pack, 
I gotta be real gentle. Well, this one. That's just a common card. That may ain't worth a whole lot. Then I got this one. That one too is just a common card. Probably not worth a whole lot. Now this one was the third one I pulled out of the pack. It's a Charizard AX, ain't it? Yep, Charizard AX. Now that little card right there, I'm just going to say it is well worth the one dollar I paid for this pack. So, which, I mean, you can go anywhere and you can buy these cards. You can go buy a $15 pack of cards. You may not get nothing. Or you can go buy a dollar pack and you can get enough to buy that $15 pack out of it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all it's all in the luck. And for the first time, I actually had some good luck for a while. You know, I, I don't, I didn't have, well, my hat is all messed up. A lot of times I don't have good luck. That's like I was telling you about the lottery ticket. My wife would buy one, and she'll win $25. I can buy six right after that, not win a one, not win a thing. So I try not to play a whole lot. But, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing a lot more, uh, seeing if I can, I See if I can find some deals at these places, and then if I find some good deals at these places, I'm going to bring them and show them to y'all, and I'm going to explain to you, you know, how this happened and what it is and where it was at. But what are you doing, Kitty? You coming to be in my video? That's that blue-eyed cat I was telling y'all about. So It likes to take off. It'll walk from here. It'll walk almost a half a mile. Up to my cousin's house. It'll stay up there two or three days. Then it'll walk a half a mile back and it'll stay down here for two or three days. I got two or three of them that does that. But leave my camera case alone. That's mine. That's not a chew toy. Them cats, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Pretty good day overall. A little chilly. I think tomorrow's supposed to warm up. It's going to rain, I believe. But that's okay. I figured they'd come out here and do a quick video and let y'all see uh, some of the stuff that I bought. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start finding some of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start going down the Dollar Tree every week to see if I can find something different. And, you know, to see how big of a bargain that I can get by, by going there. We find a lot of good stuff there. I got a cup. I had a big old thick cup that I put my coffee in. It was about this tall. Yeah, I like coffee. It's about this tall. I dropped it. And it fell over and hit a concrete block. Why would a concrete block be in my house? Well, it ain't in my house anymore. It's hanging right there. But anyway, that's pretty much why it's hanging out here. And uh, just to get it out of the house. And uh, it's the only thing I had to test my duct tape with. But anyway, my son said, I don't know how that bike fell over and hit that block. I said, I know it. I set it down, it fell over in the same spot, it hit the concrete block, and shattered. I said, you got to be kidding. Only me. So I went down there, and I bought me another cup. It's about the same size, only it had little designs on it, all big old thick crystal, you know. Dollar, hey, it holds just as much coffee, and it holds the, the same way the other one did. But anyway, it's a... Uh, I tell you, got my, my gourd still hanging there, but hopefully we ain't going to get no more snow for a while. I got cats everywhere down here. They climbing trees, playing. The cats, they like to play. Oh, but yeah, I'm hoping that the snow is over with. I've been watching this little patch of grass out over here and just waiting to see if, uh, Easter flares is going to come up. I'm predicting that by the 20th of February, we got Easter flares this year. I'm hoping that winter don't last much longer. Cause I'm, I don't like it. I don't like winter. I don't like being cold. But, all right. I'm going to make a nice little weather station down here. i got to find the right kind of weather rock, though. So when I get that, we'll, uh, we'll be set. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up off here, and I'm going to head on back to the house. I just thought I'd uh, tell you all some stories and everything that's been going on lately. And they climb everywhere. Ain't really been in, uh, been too cold to get out. But that's all going to change. We're going to get out whether it's cold or not. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get up off here. And uh, y'all remember the social distance? Like Sasquatch. Wash your hands like you don't like them. Holler at each other every now and then. Say, hey, man. How you doing? And uh, it'll make a world of difference. Because uh, sometimes it makes somebody feel good just to say, hey, what's up? You doing okay? You know? But uh, y'all take care of you. Be careful. Y'all get out. And I'll see you in a day or two. We'll throw another video up. Well, it's Buddy Isaac, and I'm out. Didn't fall in my fire pit this time. I'm excited. How did I stop it?